Working quickly and efficiently in Excel is the name of the game. And that is extended to being able to navigate quickly around our workbook. And that's particularly important if you have a workbook that has lots and lots of different worksheets. For example, this workbook that I have here has quite a few different worksheets. And I want to be able to jump around between these worksheets in the most efficient way possible. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you a few different methods when it comes to navigating and some cool little things that you can add into your spreadsheet to make it really easy for yourself and anybody that you share this workbook with to get to the worksheet that they need quickly. Now, the simplest way of jumping to another worksheet is to come all the way down to where we have our tabs. Can you see these two arrows in the left hand corner? If you hover your mouse over any of these arrows and right click, notice that we get this little menu pop up, which lists out all of the worksheets in our workbook. So if I want to quickly jump to the analysis worksheet, I can select analysis, click on OK, and it's going to take me there. So that's a really useful little quick tip. But how else can we navigate between workbooks? Well, we could add a hyperlink to certain pages. So let's go to the sales data worksheet. Maybe I want people to be able to very quickly jump across to the analysis worksheet from this sales data worksheet. So what I could do is I could add a link. Now I'm going to add another row into the top here because I'm going to put my link just here. So I'm going to say go to the analysis worksheet and I'm going to make this a hyperlink. So with this text selected, I can either right click and go down to link. Alternatively, I can press the keyboard shortcut control K, which is going to jump me to the insert hyperlink dialog box. Now there's lots of things that we can link to from within here. We can link to external websites. We can link to email addresses. We can link to other workbooks or we can link to other worksheets within the same workbook. Now to do that, we need to go to place in this document. And this is where you'll then see all of the other worksheets listed out. So I want this to go to the analysis worksheet. So let's make sure we select it and notice just above. We can also type in the exact cell reference that we want to jump to on that analysis workbook. So by default, it's going to be cell A1, which a lot of the time will be perfect. Just so you can see, let's change this to A10. We can also add a screen tip in here so that when people hover their mouse over this hyperlink, it basically tells them what they need to do. So we can put instructional text in here. So click here to see the sales analysis report. Let's click on OK. So you can see that that's now a hyperlink. And again, if I hover my mouse over it, I'm getting that little screen tip. Click here to see the sales analysis report. And if I click on this, it's going to jump us across to the sales analysis worksheet. And notice where my cursor is. It's in cell A10. So that is a really nice, simple way to navigate. Now, what else could we do to make these links more interesting? Well, we could hyperlink from a picture or an icon or a shape. We could create our own button. So instead of having a text link, maybe I want to make myself a little interesting button. So let's go to insert. We're going to go to shapes and I'm going to draw a rounded rectangle. And here I'm going to say, see the analysis report. So then we can format. So I'm going to change this to Aptos font. I'm going to put it in the center. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And in fact, I'm going to make that a little bit wider. And then we can change the button color to match our color scheme. So let's go for a green background fill. And I think I'm going to go for a dark green shape outline. So now I have a useful little button instead, and I can put this wherever I need to put it. So maybe I want to put it at the bottom here, and then I can run through the same process. So control K, I can select the analysis worksheet. I can select the cell I want to link to and add a screen tip if I want to. Click on OK. And now this becomes a helpful little button, which is going to jump us to the same worksheet. Now, you're not limited to linking from text and shapes. You can also use pictures and icons. So let's take a look at one more example. I'm going to insert an icon and I'm going to search for an icon of a house or a home. So let's just choose this one just here and click on insert. Now, with these icons, 
You can change the color of them from the graphics format tab. So again, I could make this the green color. I want this to stand out a little bit. So let's make it purple. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And then what I could do is I could place this somewhere on the worksheet and maybe link this to the first worksheet, the home worksheet, for example. And this is something that I quite like to do because a lot of the time the first worksheet in the workbook will contain a lot of useful information. So it's good to have a way that people can quickly jump back to home if they need to. Now I'm just going to put mine, let's just put it up here. Now I could copy and paste this onto every single worksheet so that we have some consistency and can easily jump back to the home page whenever we need to. But with regards to linking, this works in exactly the same way. We can press Control K and this time I'm going to select how to use, click on OK. And now if we click on this, it's going to jump us back to that first page. So those are a few different methods that you could employ to help your users navigate around a large workbook. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.